Good morning, welcome to episode four of Woodland Wednesday. It is the, uh, what day are we on here? We're on the 9th of uh, November. So really, when I was a kid, this would have been, have been winter, but it's still really hot, really, really hot. It's still really warm. I don't need the hat on, that's what I was about to say. Wait for the train to go past. Um, I've got a waterproof coat on and my jumper, but again, it's not that cold. I want it to be really, I want it to get really cold. We have had, in the last couple of weeks, the last week, we had almost a touch of frost. I was playing golf a couple of Sunday, or last Sunday, and there was definitely some dew on the ground, heavy dew. It was almost a frost, I wasn't sure. Um, so it got colder, but it's warmed up again. We've had loads and loads of rain for England, so we've had more than a seasonal average. Um, and we've had some high winds as well, so I was expecting to have a little bit of a rubbish scene, but it's not too bad. The things I could do with going brown are these uh, brambles, and they definitely, they're definitely turning. Um, I just wonder whether autumn's going to be two or three weeks late. You know, we may have to come back here in January and do it um, to see what happens. But I can't, I haven't looked at the picture, but I can't really see a lot of difference between this week and the one a few weeks ago. So uh, I'll shoot it anyway. We'll shoot it with the, uh, with the big camera. I've got the polarizer on the front. We're gonna, I'm going to do the same um, crop that I normally do, this panoramic crop that I really enjoy. And then what I'll do is we'll leap back to, into Lightroom and we'll compare the two and we can see if, uh, if there's any changes. Certainly last week's one, if you remember episode three, there were definitely some more orange leaves. But I wonder whether the leaves here have gone orange and then just dropped. Now these are different trees. We've got oak trees here and last week's uh, woodland is bir are birch trees. So there's definitely a difference here. Oak trees tend to be a bit more stubborn. Um, there's definitely some stuff in the background which is different there's some of those that have definitely gone brown um, but i guess i feel a bit disappointed i was expecting a bit more color and i haven't really got it but let's shoot anyway as we're here and we'll see what we get so this is not so easy today um light's just rubbish i think it's doing nothing it's not one thing or, or another and it's just given me a load of um sorry i'm hand holding this it's a a bit dodgy in these brambles but i've got the histogram so i i'm, I'm kind of conscious of these highlights um which i could go up that way but i don't want the spike to be too much that might be all right it gives me a bit of separation actually the light's changed again you see the fleshing means it's overexposed but it probably isn't because it's a raw file so there we go look i would say that's about right so we'll shoot that two second timer it's about a two second exposure one and a half seconds f11 100 iso um i have i think got further left now the problem with getting going further left is we've now got separation between these two trees and the middle needs to be interesting which it isn't particularly so it could be that it might be better to go um, this way with the camera so that I can close that gap a little bit. Um, but I'll have a little look at that because that may, if I was doing this for the first time, that's maybe what I'd be thinking. It would also benefit from cutting out some of this sky up here, which obviously appears a little bit in there. So that would reduce that. Might give us a little bit better light. And actually in the distance, if I just spin you round a touch, if we look over here, that kind of grey green is quite nice as a background because it does give us a nice lot of separation. So I might just move over a little bit now. Obviously, or well not obviously to you, but if I show you what we're up against here, there is just brambles after brambles. So to get anywhere, there's a path that runs here, just through here which is obviously the obvious place to take it from, but sometimes the obvious isn't the best. But there are just brambles, another train, but there are just brambles everywhere. So it's not the easiest place to shoot, but I think what I'm gonna do is move to this path here. Okay, so I can just reduce that gap between the two trees. See what that looks like. So it does work better from here. I think half of me wanted to be a bit of a hero and go and stand in the brambles, but actual, an actual fact that it gave me two, the, the two trees were 
the elements were separated too much and they were almost framing the middle and the middle wasn't interesting enough so by moving across to the right I brought the two trees closer together so it kind of does that um, and that ties them in better so I've just gonna I've raised the camera up as you can see because there's a branch in the front of this first tree which I want to get underneath the back trees leave so that kind of there's a bit of a gap there it almost looks like it's one tree that way uh, it's not easy but just about manages it uh, the background actually looks quite nice it's that lovely mint green kind of color which I quite like and there's some trees in the background that are doing well some trees that have gone really brown and we've also got a little bit of light coming through which is pretty much the same conditions as the last two times I've been here which kind of works so yeah I don't think this is any better than the than the second one um, I don't think there's a noticeable change in any of the conditions but I'm going to shoot it. it's full polarization I'm going to wait now for the Sun to come out fully and then we'll shoot it right so when next time I see you all back in the in my office and I'll put both of these I'll put this one and last week's onto Lightroom and we'll compare them like we did last week see you in a minute this first image from today now this is the one I was talking about um, the let's just get rid of where's the all right go on, let's get rid of that you can see that there's this big area in the middle here um, which is not interesting so we've got that tree to the right that tree to the left almost like bookends and there's nothing to hold the image so that's not a very good composition the top one is from today and the bottom one is from a couple of weeks ago now I think I prefer the composition from today I'm slightly closer and I've also left out all of this stuff on the left here I think it works better just cropping it to that tree there because the interest then goes to these two guys you can see how the branches of this branch here and this branch here then interweave into these two trees which gives them more of this idea of fighting um, which works better than the first one that I shot from over to the left the light very similar I would say the light was probably slightly better on the first one you can see that I've actually included more of the top which has got a little bit of color in from the first week but if you look at the colors look at autumn nothing much has changed still the trees are still fighting away uh, they're still growing I guess so I guess this is probably good for them um, slightly more brown maybe in the background here maybe which helps to separate these two trees out a little bit better I think actually I prefer today's one um, even though the light was better in the first one I just think this is separated out better there's definitely more separation between this tree and the background there than there is there because this stuff is all still lit up and a bit messy so there we go um, I'll come back to this in a couple of weeks um, it, actually it will be three weeks because in a couple of weeks time I'll be driving back from Scotland I'm going up to the Highlands to shoot some vlogs up there going up with my wife so that will be nice we're having a little holiday uh, five days up in the Highlands of Scotland which I can't wait for so that will be great so I'll see you next Wednesday for the previous woodland if you remember from last week um, I'll shoot that again and we'll see if anything's changed I'm hoping for a little bit of frost this week will be nice um, although it's not promised so we'll see um, so thanks ever so much for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done um, I mean that's been awesome so far so thanks ever so much to everybody who has done and I will see you next Wednesday for some more Woodland Wednesdays ta -da.